Now, I, I heard you talk recently about uh, the possibility of a van. Yeah. Now, a van, um, because you got a big, flat area, that's actually where solar could start to make a little more sense. A solar-powered van from Tesla? I guess there has been some news from Tesla headquarters because my inbox has been filling up with messages from all of you talking about Tesla making a solar powered van. So I decided I'd go in and check out what the hell it is what everybody was talking about and I looked up the uh, podcast that Joe Rogan produced with Elon Musk, I think it was last week or the week before and where they talk about this solar powered van. So this is my chance to react to everything that they're saying. I'm gonna play the video here and figure out what it is that everybody's going on about and what everybody's so excited about. But yeah, I'm excited to check it out. For a possibility that these things are gonna be solar powered, is that, is that someday, is the solar technology gonna to get to well, a point where? It's kind of a surface area issue. So, I mean, I think we could possibly put the, the, the the cover of the truck bed, um, you know, put some solar cells in that. So just leave it. All right. So he's talking about the Tesla truck, the cyber truck and the potential for that to be solar powered. And right now, Elon Musk has literally just said flat out to Joe, there's no way that it can be solar powered. And he's probably right. It's pretty impossible probably going to be pretty impossible to find the right amount of surface area which was also the first thing that Elon said it's all about surface area you cover the truck bed in solar panels but it's never going to be enough so I'm going to keep going if you just leave it out in the sun you know probably bring you know recharges a few miles a day type of thing oh it was only it would only be a few miles yeah. but what about one day is it possible that technology could evolve to the point where they could extract no. more no really no, it's a, so there's about one kilowatt per square meter of solar energy, and then you're going to get, uh, I don't know, probably 20, 25% efficiency, so you got 200 watts per square meter. Yeah, Elon's a smart guy. He knows exactly what he's talking about. A lot of people wonder about solar technology and how far it's going to go or how far it's, how far it's come. It's come a long way. I think when I was growing up, the first sort of solar panels that we that we saw on the market were like around 8% efficiency. Um, don't quote me, I don't know, I didn't know that much, I wasn't that interested in solar panels when I was a little kid. But nowadays, yeah, Elon's right, there's the, the best on the market, the best on the consumer market are around 25%. Um, they usually range from about 20 to 25%. Some of the cheaper panels are around 18%. And some of the really older, older sort of even cheaper panels are around 15%. So the efficiency of solar is just not really capable of providing electric vehicles with enough energy to run them. There is a but, there is always a but. Obviously I'm driving a solar powered van and there is a way to do it. So I'm just gonna keep watching and I'll keep reacting to things as they come up. Cause yeah, I think that's how this video needs to go. Square meter. And then that's assuming that you're normal to the sun. So, you know, like you're, you know, at right angles, basically like, are you facing the sun or not? So, you know, when you add all those things up, you say, how many square meters can you really get? Yeah, so basically he just talked about how, even if you have the solar panels on the, on the car, they're generally not facing directly at the sun. Um, they're usually pretty flat and you lose a lot of efficiency by just having flat solar panels. You need to tilt them towards the sun so that the sun's rays can excite the particles in the panels uh, uh, more voraciously, I guess. Uh, so the more tilted towards the sun, the better it is. So he's saying even if we covered the back of a Cybertruck in solar panels, it it's not gonna be Faced at the sun because the, the slight angle of the the rear of the cyber truck isn't enough so he did say yeah you could you could create something like that but anyway gonna keep reacting and then uh, how many watt hours per mile so it, it has basically you know, if you could do 10 miles a day you'd be lucky oh, really yeah and that's not gonna change no wow that sucks 
<laughs> I love it how when people find out how uh, almost impossible it is and they hear it from someone who they believe um, how their reaction is always like, damn, I thought, I mean, that's what I was banking on. It's all about vehicles saving the world. So Joe has just been uh, told the hard truth that it's probably not going to be possible. I mean, that's harsh too. Is it not going to be possible? Who knows? Like, we, we didn't know... I've got my cell phone here. This is a perfect example. This thing and this computer here used to be the size of this whole room. And now I carry this around in my pocket. It's a supercomputer in my pocket. Does amazing things and it's wafer thin. Like it's, you could forget it, you can lose it, you can throw it around. I mean, is it possible one day? Well, we say no now. Who knows what we're gonna find and what we're gonna achieve. With the current technology, no, it's not. It's not possible to have a significant amount of miles or range um, practically on a normal shaped or normal sized vehicle it'd be cool if it just ran i mean is it possible to make a car entirely of solar panels like the the, the entire surface of it solar panels like in a place like la or somewhere where it's never cloudy and drive around in that thing no you can always, you're going to burn off energy faster than you can drive like mm. if you don't drive that often that's a different story I'd, I like to call Elon out on this one. He's obviously not aware of a couple of projects that exist. There's one called Aptera Motors. Um, they're a US based company. They're currently working on a prototype of a vehicle that is going to be able to op operate completely off of solar energy. And there's another company in Europe, in Germany or Switzerland, I think it is, called Sono Motors, S O N O Motors. And they are currently working on a consumer uh, hatchback or a consumer, I guess, just a normal sized vehicle that's completely made out of solar panels that can also run off of solar energy. Now the thing about those specific, I'm not gonna get into too much details, but they're very specifically designed. They're super lightweight. They're not like a normal vehicle. They're certainly not the size of a Cybertruck and they're certainly not the shape and size of my camper van. They, they are completely designed from the ground up to be solar powered. Just like the vehicles that they use in the race in Australia, the one that they drive across the outback of Australia, they have a 24 hour race or whatever it is, um, to see who can make it across the Nullarbor using only solar power. Those vehicles are super lightweight. I think they're less than 200 kilograms and that's the reason why they're able to operate off of solar energy. So, Elon, not completely true. He just said a flat no. I don't like flat no's. It's not true. You can, you can, you can drive a solar powered vehicle. You can do it. It's just obviously not in the way that Joe is asking the question. Joe's sort of talking more about someone specifically just getting a normal vehicle and making that solar powered but yeah it's not going to function the same way as a normal vehicle and definitely the way that we think about driving vehicles would have to change if we are going to be solar powering our vehicles anyway going to continue reacting the only um, option is to have a solar paneled home and extract the power that way and yeah charge solar panel room has got a lot of lot of area yeah so um now you could possibly have like some you know, solar thing that unfurls uh, that has a lot more surface area. So when you park it at work or something like that, yeah. it unfurl. Yeah. But it's just, it just needs area. Right. Like, you know, so like I said, you know, think about like maybe 200 watts a square meter. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So basically they talk about having rooftop solar at home and using the energy from that to charge your vehicle. Currently, that's the best way to do it. If you have a Nissan Leaf or a Tesla Model 3 or S or whatever, get solar on your house. Storage if you have to, get some batteries. The best thing is if you can use the batteries of the vehicle to store energy, that's even better because then you can use the excess energy later at your house or during blackouts or whatever to, uh, to, to use that energy. So rooftop solar is currently the best way to do it. So if you're thinking about making a solar powered vehicle, I wouldn't say don't do that, but I would say if you, you want it for practical reasons, go with rooftop solar. It's gonna make it's gonna make it way easier, way easier. And then they just start going on about some other 
details about like the efficiency of solar panels and the amount of watts we get per square foot or meter on the, on the planet at the moment and how much we, of that we can harness to put in batteries to drive off of using our electric vehicles. Now, I heard you talk recently about uh, the possibility of a van, like sprinter van style. Yeah. Now, a van, um, because you got a big, flat area, that's actually where solar could start to make a little more sense, you know, because you could have a lot of area. So for um, the roof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm celebrating. It's funny. I wish he has a. I wish he had a picture of my van. I wish I could just like throw a picture in his face right now and be like, "You mean like this one, Elon? You mean like this van, the one with the solar panels that open up?" He's like, "This is where it makes a little more sense." I'm like, "Yeah, I drove from Alaska to Mexico in my solar powered electric camper van, dude. <laughs> Get with the times, bro." Nah, he's got lots on his mind. He's sending rocket ships to Mars. He doesn't really have time to watch my YouTube videos. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, I like that when Joe asked him, he said, uh, he said, oh, I heard there's news of a van coming along. And, and Elon's first thing was like, well, now that's where solar makes sense. So I like to, I like thinking that, that Elon's got these things in the front of his mind. Obviously, he wants there to be a solar powered electric vehicle just readily available for everyone. But he's obviously being realistic as well at the same time. And he's like, it's gonna make, it makes a little more sense, but you can still hear the hesitation in his voice because as I know, and as anyone who watches my videos know, driving a solar powered van isn't as easy as just driving any other vehicle. You have to think about a bunch of other things and there's, what about snow? What about the temperature? What about this, that? There's all sorts of things that are at play. Wind, <laughs> we can think about wind, can't forget about that. So yeah, um, there's all sorts of things that come into play. It doesn't make it remotely just as easily accessible for every single human on the planet. So anyway, I'm gonna keep listening because this is juicy stuff. And uh, I think you also have like maybe a roof where you know, it's solar, and then when it's stationary, like, like maybe... Awnings. It, yeah, it like, it goes out and like yeah. provides shade and, and maybe triples your area or something like that. Mm. Now, if you go like, okay, now triple the area and you've got a big flat surface, um, now you could start having, maybe having charging enough that you, you know, you can start getting like 30 miles a day. Like, you mean like my van? <laughs> he literally just described my van. Triple your surface area. Plus, you can fold a tail out, bro. Um, that's another thing you can do. Well, in the old version of my van, we used to take solar panels and attach it to the side of the van. One thing he hasn't spoken about yet is tracking. Um, tracking is like another 30% at least efficiency. So he's just talking about folding the awnings out and having shade. The thing about my van is we track and we angle that towards the sun, which creates so much more efficiency it, it ups the intake of solar and it allows us to make certain amounts more energy for example on my van when we were camping at smith river i think the maximum we got in one day was 80 miles i think that's the maximum yeah it was a lot we got a we got a bunch of energy in in that one day that's because we were up at like sun sunrise, we set the panels in place and we followed the sun all day and then in the afternoon we folded it down and we tracked the sun down in the evening and we were just on it all day just slightly tweaking it so it did take a lot of effort it wasn't just like like pull the panels out and got 80 miles I think that's what he's talking about with his 30 mile figure here he says it's gonna get you about 30 miles yeah, if you pull it out to the side like that and it's just flat and it's just shade and, and all of that sort of stuff, certainly. I mean, those figures are kind of spot on actually. I think like when I was doing that in northern USA, when I didn't have uh, the northern mainland USA, when I didn't have the tracking feature, it was broken. I used to just pull the van panels out like that and I think, yeah, I was traveling about on average about 30 miles a day with that or charging 30 miles a day 
with that kind of an with that kind of intake. So he's on it. This Elon guy's got something going on. Like he knows what he's talking about. Kind of thing. Well, that's interesting because there's a lot of people that use those for camping. They yeah, use yeah. The, like my friend Tom Green. You know Tom Green? I, He's, I think so, yeah. yeah. used to be on MTV and actor yeah. and comedian. He's uh, traveling across the country right now in yeah. one of those vans. Like style van. I think he got a Ram, a Dodge Ram. For, okay. but sprinter van style. Yeah. And uh, if you had something like that, he has an awning that extends and he's got a bunch of camping yeah. and he does a podcast out of it. If you had something like that, it, it seems I like think that would be great, you know. Like you could yeah. have like a van that just, you know, even the, if, if the apocalypse came around, you, know, you still you can still drive. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. maybe you can even have some sort of a, an external tent that you could set up that's just a solar tent. Yeah. That could juice you up during the day or something, something along those lines. That's so interesting, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. They start talking about some other stuff there. He talks about his friend Tom Green. Everybody knows Tom Green. Do, do, do. I don't know if everybody gets that reference, but Tom Green is a funny guy. But uh, he has his own podcast and he lives in a Sprinter van, in a gas-powered Sprinter van. And Joe starts talking about having like a solar-powered tent and um, Elon kind of doesn't want to say no again. But yeah, I mean, that would be kind of annoying at stopping and having to set up a solar tent every time that you stop. But um, it's kind of like what I used to do is pull everything out manually and set it up. It took about half an hour to do, um, if you could do that again. There's a couple in France, EV World Tour. They have a solar trailer that they drag behind their T4 or T5 Synchro four-wheel drive Volkswagen. Um, and that, they pull it out too. It's kind of like a solar trailer. And, and that's how they do it. So yeah, Joe's not far far off the mark there with that, but Elon's sort of thinking, well, I guess that's a lot of effort. Elon probably likes buttons and automation to make things sort of just work normally. So anyway, that's basically it. That's what they said. There's been a bunch of articles and things being thrown my direction talking about Elon. Elon's making a solar van. Elon's making this or that. I mean, it doesn't sound like he's too optimistic. It doesn't sound like it's high on the priority list. He's already late for delivering a bunch of things and there's been a few issues with uh, Tesla vehicles lately in the news being recalled and all of that sort of stuff. I think Model S, some certain Model S or something like that has been recalled. So I think Elon's pretty busy at the moment. I don't think he's gonna be creating a solar powered van anytime soon. But it is really cool to hear that he's been talking about it. Um, that it's at the front of his mind. It's not as if he just didn't have an answer for Joe. He, he had an answer and yeah, that's really cool. But anyway, Elon, have a look at my van. If you decide to build a solar powered van, look me up, you know where I'm at. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you hit me up. I'll come and help you build it. And I promise I will take it for the longest test drive out of any of them. <laughs> any of the Tesla vehicles that have ever been test driven before. But when that day comes, I'm sure everybody here will know about it. All right, that's my reaction to this solar van news. Hope you all are having a good day. If you like this content, there's loads more adventurous, great content traveling in solar powered vans. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out that other content. And don't forget to hit that notifications button so that you don't miss out on any of the new videos. I'll see you all next time. Love you all. Bye.